I would love to know how David R. Ellis directed films like this movie that I'm about to review, and then started to go cheesy. Not saying this movie isn't cheesy, but just not as cheesy as his previous movie, Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. You know, I don't care because this movie rocks. My socks. Rest in peace, David R. Ellis. Rest in peace. <laughs> Destination 2. Also known as the bigger, bloodier, and brasher sequel to a movie that was tame but graphic in its own right. The film focuses on survivors of a horrific car accident. <coughs> huh. And as in car accident, I mean it will hold up traffic for hours because it was so horrible. But when every accident in a Final Destination movie happens, it's like the Fox News, for Christ's sakes, I swear to God. Because it keeps on repeating itself and repeating itself, and then it's not about how real it is, and it's more about who can make it the most intense, violent, and gory. And they repeat that theme again and again and again and again and again and again. Oh, Christ. Final Destination 2 is number 3 on that list for being the most intense, violent, and gory. Part 1 being number 2 and Part 5 being number 1, in my honest opinion. For the most intense, violent, and gory opening disasters. CATASTROPHE! Ah, shut up. The only catastrophe is the special effects for Part 4. The Final Destination. Which was also directed by David R. Ellis. Rest in peace, David R. Ellis. Rest in peace. The film has some strong points, such as the intensity of the future deaths. They have you on the edge of your seat, impatiently waiting for the outcome. And just when your belief the victim is totally fucked, some of the time, not all the time, he or she gets away, but then is brutalized in a fashion that is far worse than their previous death would have been, that is insanely well thought out for the deaths. But the rest of the movie is quite unoriginal. Even though the gore effects are decent, the acting is passable, the characters are likable, and the soundtrack is quite alright. It just has something that doesn't make it as good as the first one. I liked the fact that the first Final Destination we get a song to warn them about death approaching, if they were lucky. They used a song about a plane crash called Rocky Mountain High by John Denver in the first movie, which I enjoyed John Denver's music when I was younger, but I'm not too sure if Rocky Mountain High is about a plane crash or not. I haven't listened to that song in a long time. Anyways, in the second movie, they used a song by ACDC called The Highway to Hell, which is more of my kind of speed. It was a good choice in song. This movie is pretty awesome, and it knows it. It shed gore boundaries that most movies in 2003 dared not to do. Plus, they have Claire return from the first movie just as a different actress, but it still is the only continuation on a character besides Tony Todd in the franchise, and you know what? Props to that. Overall, I give Final Destination 2 a 3.5 out of 5. Even if the ending was way too cheesy and stupid, it still is a kick-ass sequel to a kick-ass movie. Well, I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.